Hey yo guys, this is probably not recording audio. Hey yo guys, what's good, what's happening, and what's going on? Today is the day we're gonna build the Ender 3 version 2. And we're gonna do it on the channel. Could be a long video, could be a short video. I do know one thing for the video, we need some light. Turn on the studio light. Boom shakalaka boom shakalaka boom. All right guys, uh, today we're gonna be building this thing here and, send and centering it, no. Uh, leveling it all that fun stuff. So without further ado, I'm gonna set you guys up on the table. Here we go And to open the box we're gonna use none other than the Cabela's pocket knife. That's right not sponsored But Cabela's if you're watching hit a brother up. Let's go ahead and open the box They made sure it would never open in shipping because they put about 17 pounds of, sh of uh, Shipping tape or packing tape onto it. So there we go opening up the box. We are greeted by a whole mess of foam Please tell me I didn't open this upside down. I don't think so. All right So take the top layer of foam off and we are greeted with a bag of stuff. This has like filament and other parts in it so I'm just gonna put that off to the side. We have another bag of stuff. This looks like it has all the tools to put it together. Foam for some reason. Some zip ties. Probably for cable management. It comes with a putty knife for extracting your molds from the bed. Cool. Very cool. I appreciate that. Because the only one I have is bigger than this. It also comes with, I don't know what that is, but it comes with this. We're gonna find out when we find the manual. Comes with a D sub power supply. I got about 70,000 of these. Now I got 70,000 and one. Comes with a really nice bearing roller wheel. Not sure what you're for, but we'll figure that out when we build it. The frame rails. Nicely packaged. Pretty good, pretty good. Put those off to the side. There's something up here. Is this the business end? I don't know. Let's just take this top layer off. There's something else in here. Nope. This is a motor. Feels like a motor. Cool. <coughs> Nothing else in here. Chuck that off to the side. Now we have a, another piece. Like I said, this thing's in like a thousand pieces. You gotta put it together. And to put it together, we have the assistance of the Creatality manual. Can't even say that word. Holy crap. And then we have the top support, top bracket, that with the other brackets. We have the computer portion with the screen. This is the business end where you select your prints and all that other fun stuff and control all the cool shite. I'm assuming this is the tube that the spool goes on. Oh yeah, this must be the business end. No, nope, no, nope, this is more motors. Oh, hey, how's it going? This is more motors for something. I don't know what, but the manual will tell us. The guy who, uh, I, every video I watched on it, said, they all said the same thing. The manuals are great. It can guide even the newbiest of noobs through assembly of this thing, which is excellent because I am the newbiest of noobs. Okay, so let's get this out of the way. Is there another one on this side? Let's see if I can fold this back piece down. Get you guys a better angle. Yeah, that's better. All right. And this whole rip, this whole piece here comes out as one. And this is the bottom portion right here. So minus this chunk of foam. And I do believe that is all she wrote for the box. So we'll just put that down there. Actually, I'm gonna put this box over here. Just get it out of the way. Get all of Oreo's damn toys out of the way. I fart a little bit. All right, I wanna sit down to see what the heck is really going on here because I honestly have no freaking idea except for a couple of videos I watched on how this damn thing is gonna work. I don't even think you guys can see the build, the building situation going on here. Man, I really underestimate the angle of this camera. Okay, cool. Oh, you know what I can do? While I'm filming so I don't run out of battery, totally plug you guys in. Is that working? I don't know if that's working. Does this thing have a power button on it? That thing actually have power? I really don't know. BRB. All right, it says it's charging, but I, I don't know. What if I plug it into the other port? Is it charging now? You know what? I'm just gonna risk it for a biscuit. See what the frig happens. Maybe this cable is just not good enough to charge this. Maybe I need a shorter USB-C cable. Here, this one's a little thicker. Let's try this one out. I got you guys on a Dollarama 10 footer. The attenuation's probably just killing the amperage. Nope, maybe my idea for the power bar being the charger is not a good one. Well, we'll see how this works out. You know what, we'll see how this works out. Anyway, we got the manual here. So the manual, oh, just bang my knee off the friggin' desk. This is why I hate these desks. All right, all pissed, tell me you're in English, please. Okay, you are. All right, so if I need spare parts, they give you all the part numbers. So step one, we install the legs. I don't know if you guys can read that, but welcome to amateur hour. Okay, so I'm gonna move the computer bit over here. The legs are right here. Cabela's pocket knife is right here. I'm just gonna make a little hole here and just drag it down and get that sleeve off. That's probably supposed to stay in there, maybe. I don't know. 
Do you take this thing out of the center or what? There's like, like a center shaft. I don't know what its purpose is in life. What do I do with that? So how do you tell them apart? Okay, so this one, I just don't understand what the heck this is for. Like nowhere in here does it say to take this out, but nowhere in here does it say this is in there. Does this one have one? Nope, that one's empty. Maybe it's just a support frame. I'm just gonna leave it in there for S and Wait, is that whole thing tapered? Oh no, no, this is the, the rod. Okay, no, this is the rod to, um, it spins on the motor back here somewhere and it moves the, the uh, up and down, the Y axis. So you go how? Like so, I guess, right? You go on there like this-ish? Sure, let's find those bolts. I honestly probably shouldn't be doing this, but I'm gonna do it because I have no choice. It's all about me doing things. So I do apologize if anybody's watching this and you're just all upset. This is the front, right? Yeah, you know what? That belt is not straight at all. Anyway, enough of that. So good thing I bought some filament because that's probably enough for like one print job. We got some, we got a belt here. We got some other plastic bits. We got uh, some tiny little screws. We got some other tiny little screws. We got some pieces of electronics of some fashion. I don't know what that's for, but we'll figure that out. We got some some nozzles and things. I'm telling you guys, like this is quite the freaking project. How long are these bolts? These are 31. Do you have a number on you? No, because why would you put a number on it? Put a number on the package, but don't put a number on the bag. Frickin' brilliant. Well, there's only four of these. Sorry, correction, there's only five of these. Why is there five? I just hope I'm right. It doesn't show installing the Z-axis limiting switch. So that goes on the side rail. So, like where? Like where? Where do you go? I almost want to watch another video on this. <laughs> because I'm really not sure what the heck I'm doing. Wait, wait, does he have the drawers facing me? Yeah, he does. So this one definitely goes over here like that. No, the holes are on the inside. So that goes like that. All right. If you guys are wondering why I'm coughing, it's because I forgot how awesome the air quality at work is. And that's sarcasm because it's horrible. Get these on finger tight just for now. Preferably not sitting the damn printer on top of the cable. All right. I gotta stand up for this shit. I'm not gonna tighten them up right away because every video I watched on this, everybody did the same thing. They tightened it up and then they couldn't get the top brace on. So I'm just gonna leave it finger tight so it's on there, but it's loose so I can like, you know, work it. Okay, so that power bar is not powering the camera. Well, that sucks. The whole reason why I bought that thing was for that exact reason. Otherwise I could have bought a more expensive power bar. <coughs> All right, so that one's on. Now we need to do the other one. Like there's no toggle switch for these USBs, right? No, it just will not charge while it records. Where did I put that power brick? I don't know, whatever. It's slowly depleting. It's not draining as fast as it normally does. But now this one here only has two short holes on the bottom and nothing on the top. And it's got to, and, and they go, they go right through. So it's got to go here like that. So let's go ahead. Sorry for the awesome angle, guys. I'm, it'd be so much easier if I had a camera dude, but I don't. Where the hell did I put the screws? They're right here. They're right there. Honestly, this would have been cooler if it came pre-assembled, but hey, whatever. I guess this is part of the whole the whole fun of 3D printing is building your lathe. Or it's not really a lathe. Your CNC. Building your CNC. Your mill. It's not a mill. Could it be classified as a mill? Does this make me a mill right? Because I can design 3D stuff. Totally designed the Skivens logo in 3D and plan on printing it in the oval shape of a Ford symbol. And if I do it right, I might replace the Ford symbol on my girl with the Skivens logo. <laughs> Shouldn't customize your truck, Adam. Don't tell me what to do, you're not my dad. Okay, that's on there. Loose as frig, but that's on there. I'll tighten those up later on. Not too worried about it right now. So, those are on there, but I'm not sure about how the heck to attach that Z switch. Where is that Z switch? That is this thing. Oh, I see how it attaches. Okay, I'll, I'll show you real quick. So, this is the, is they call it a Z axis? Yeah, Z axis limiter. So it prevents the uh, thing from coming down too far, but it's got these like, it's got hex heads over here, but on this side here, it's got things that slide into the rail. And where the heck do you put it? Like, is there a picture of this thing finally assembled? That'd be awesome. I don't think it goes on the inside. All right, one second here. I need to see a better angle of this thing. Oh, well, that's showing the back, but that's showing the, the switch. So the switch actually goes on the outside facing this way. Cool. I don't know whereabouts you're supposed to put it because it doesn't freaking say. 
just says to put it on there and then to fit the uh the sea sucker to it so i don't know okay i'm gonna where that bag of tools go your bag of tools i also use these allen keys because they came with the kit so they probably work with it one would hope so anyway back's in here oh they came in little wire cutters oh how cute look at these little toenail clippers <clears throat> all right more zip ties and my tool pouch perfect <coughs> Like I say, guy, I do I, uh, like I say, guys. I do expect on having to disassemble this a few times and making adjustments because I don't know what the heck I'm doing. I also don't know how the heck the z-axis is going to hit that switch, but I guess we'll figure it out when it hits that switch. Oh, that's a screwdriver. That one's probably way too big for those. Because the last thing you want is for the z-axis to come down and hit the stop switch, and instead it actually, instead of stopping, it just keeps going. So which one's this? Which is this? Is the z-axis stop? Is that what you are? Are you labeled? Are you labeled? You'll fit. <coughs> Do I have to hook up the wire right away? Can I wait? It doesn't say to hook up the wire. So it aligns with the profile. With what profile? I don't understand what the hell they mean by line it up with the profile. Maybe I put it too high. Oh whatever. We'll figure it out. It's not hard to move it. All right. Next step. We need to grab that motor I was playing with and screw in where'd that motor go so is that threaded doesn't look threaded whatever and then screw in this rod are we doing that first or are we attaching it oh that goes in the back oh i see okay so this is going to go this here is going to travel on this is the is this the hot end oh this is the hot end okay it's already attached cool <coughs> oh god so brutal in that office i completely forgot like I've been off off that office for two years. I remember I used to get ear infections constantly from the headsets, but that should be stopped now because I brought my own. Uh, all right, so this here, where'd that rod go? Sorry for the awesome camera angles, guys. I know you probably want to see too. Ignore the TV in the box behind me. That's for tomorrow's video. I promise I'll explain that to you guys. Like if I put it like that, no matter how I put it, it's always going to be threaded the same way. Okay, good. And you guys are probably laughing at that comment. And that's okay because that's what we're here for. We're here to... <laughs> Entertain and educate, but I wouldn't take anything I say to the school. To what school? Any school. Please tell me these are not reverse threaded. Aw, oh, shit balls. So attach this, then run the belt. That makes sense in my brain. My brain's stupid, though, so we'll just see how this goes. All right, where is... How was I doing this? I was going to do it like that. No, I was going to do it like that. Yeah. Once again, guys, sorry for the awesome view, but... This is easier just to build and be like, look guys, laser printer. It's actually a 3D one too. All right, um, so that should shoot through the bottom then? Because that side's not tapered. Where's that super long thing? This is totally a two-man operation. Meanwhile, people out there probably have this 3D printer and they're like, no man, it's only a one-man operation, you're fine. I'm not fine, don't tell me how I should feel. You're not my dad. Once again, I do apologize for the amazing camera angles. See, I knew that this was gonna be, this is the reason why I didn't do it last night. I was like, oh, maybe I can get it started last night. And I'm like, no, there's no way in hell I'm gonna be able to get it started and go to bed and leave it half cocked. I'm gonna be so upset. I won't be able to sleep because I'll be so excited to wake up the next day to play with it. And I gotta go to work and then I'll be like all excited at work and nobody there will understand my excitement. They'll be like, Adam, just would you calm down? You're driving me crazy. And I'd be like, no, 3D printer, can't. And if I would have bought the one off of my coworker, I wouldn't have had to do this, but this is a good learning curve. I just hope I put this thing on right because I am notorious for building something and doing it completely wrong and then having to undo it all and redo it right. So I did do that right, eh? Yeah, it goes on the outside. That's right. Okay, good. <sighs> what the hell is that thing? They have this like little panache coming out the end where the belt runs. Oh, that panache. So like, I'm guessing this, what does this end have on it? This is, this is like, it goes on the bar and it slides up and down or slides up and I don't know. Pneumatic joint, where does that go? Well, that goes on, where? That's 23. What the hell's a pneumatic joint? Did I even see that piece kicking around here anywhere? Are you a pneumatic joint? No, on your clips. Are you a pneumatic joint? This thing? This does go on there though, at some point in time. That much I know, it goes on the end. All right, the thing we're building right now, this is the x-axis, so this is left and right. You know what? I got a rock of piss. I'll be right back. Alrighty guys, I took a little station identification break, had a little bit of turkey. And we're back in it. Not sure what we're in, but I got to find that one piece. 
and it might be in here because I can hear shit rattling around. So now this is the belt tensioner. That's something completely different. That's that one screw. Does that look like it? Well, let's screw it. Where, where am I screwing this into? Into this thing. Okay, where are you going into? You're going into there. That'll fit. Does that? Oh, that feeds filament. Okay, that feeds filament into the hot end. Like, I feel like I didn't do that right. But this is the feeder for the line or your PLA or your material. So that must be a spare, a spare nozzle, like a hot end. I'm just gonna give her a go. These all look the same. So just grab one of these jobbies and we'll screw that onto, there's like a hole right there. We'll screw that onto there. I went and had a turkey and I watched the video on this printer and thought it was a build video. And it, it turns out it was just like the guy talking about why this is better than the pro version than the Ender 3 Pro. Cause the Ender 3 V2 apparently got some hop ups that the pro didn't have. So whatever, who cares? Wrong wrench, one sided wrench. This is a double sided wrench and it is potentially the right wrench. Probably don't need to put that on too tight. Okay, that's good. That's on, that's on, that's on. I gotta run that belt. So I'm just gonna run the belt, I guess. I don't know. It's telling me to. I feel like it's not a smart move to do that right yet because like I got nothing to attach it to. And there's like a little panoush on the end that I don't have. Like if, if, oh, I didn't put that on backwards. Like the belt runs down that channel there, but on the picture, if you look, you can totally see like this like little off hang on the end. And I'm totally looking around and I can't find that off hang anywhere. All I can find is this. This attaches on the end and the belt goes through it. So I don't understand why they want me to attach the belt yet. So I might skip a step just for the sake of onion rings. The hot end goes on there. Then you attach the end and then you put the tensioner on it. I I'm missing something. I'm totally missing something. I gotta open up this tensioner piece and take a look inside because I have a feeling this has what I need. I don't know how one screw is gonna hold it, but because theoretically the belt runs through this thing and then this goes back into here and then you line up these, the bolt with the hole and then you apply this, this knob and this is how you set your belt tension. And over time your belt's gonna stretch like they all do. So you can basically make it tighter or looser depending on how you need it. So I'm wondering if I should just go ahead and attach the hot end to this rail first. So that just slides on like that. Yeah, that just slides on like that. Okay, I don't have the top on. <laughs> but to say, wait a second. And okay, before I do that, I probably need to put the top on. So it needs to come up here somehow and go on here, this, and then this here threads into here. I'm sitting here, I'm grabbing this rod and she's full of grease, which is good. So that would go on like that. This would bolt on this, this, bolt on here. Okay. But I need to have that hot end on it first before I bolt that on. And then I can tighten everything down and then I can put the top on it and brace it. All right. Okay. Let me uh, get this thing to release. Cool. Because I can't really run the belt through it because the belt has to track on this somehow. Oh, I get it now. They don't give you a lot of cable, that's for sure. Let me take a look. Careful. Oh yeah, okay, this gives you. So that has to go like that. She doesn't really give you a lot of room. This is the back of the unit. Yes. And if I look, okay. Am I doing, no, I'm doing this right. Let's just put that down. Let me just do a little bit of mathematics here. Okay, so we got that part all done, except for the belt is not attached because I can't find the one piece that it wants me to put on because I honestly don't think it exists. What's in here? What's this? T-braces. Oh, is that an SE? Did they give me an SD card? Sorry for looking at my gut, guy. And then we go like that. And then we just cinch that down. There we go. Okay, cool. <coughs> now, yeah, that's pretty low. That's, I gotta lower that switch because that's as low as it's gonna go. But what I'm gonna do now is tighten down the bottom bracket. Actually, I'm gonna attach top here. Cool. Or should it go like this? Yeah, no, it should go like this. Let's go ahead and attach the top. I'm not forgetting anything, eh? I know this uh, This goes into here, and then how it goes into there, it just kind of sits there. So like clips, there's clips. I'm sorry if you guys sat through this entire video. I'm gonna try and jump cut a lot of the bullshit out. Damn it, nobody needs to deal with that. Oh, that actually holds it in there nice. Cool, very cool. All right, and that's already attached. Now these cables here are not freaking labeled and they're identical, but there's zero labeling on them. This must be the up and down because it has, no, I don't know. <laughs> the guy on the video, don't worry, they make sure to label the cables. I got one, no cables labeled. Lovely. So we'll figure that out. We'll cross that bridge later. What do I need to do to attach the top brace? 
So we are good there. That's all done. That's all done. That's all done. It is those thumb screws. Okay. Still got to go underneath and tighten the, the, uh, the support frame. And we'll do that in a second. I just figure we'll get these on here nice and loose. I hate Allen keys. Oh, it's my first Ikea 3D printer. So yeah, they, they give you five screws. I, expe I guess they expect you to lose one or to strip one or something. I don't know. I don't know the logic. I just show up and build things. I half-ass it all the way through. So you're probably saying, okay, Adam, you got the, the top. But how does it go back and forth? Well, the bed itself slides back and forth. I think I've already showed that though. Now what I got to do is tighten up those subframes. So for that, I'm just going to pick the unit up and tilt it over. She's not heavy or anything. She maybe weighs, I want to say 20 pounds. But then again, it's like when you're fishing. Like, oh, that's an easy 10 pounder. And it's like two. Just feels like a 10 pounder because it fights like the Dickens. I love when that happens. You're like, oh yeah, check this out. It caught like a 15 pounder. And it's like four pounds. <laughs> it's just because it fought so hard. You're thinking you caught a Goliath. And meanwhile, it's... You're just pulling up half the friggin' ocean floor with it. I would say this is probably the most stressful thing I've done all week, but I'm on GABA and L-tyrosine, so I don't feel stress. I'm having a good time right now. Quite frankly, this is 10 out of 10. Would do this again. All right. So she's on there. She's solid. She ain't going anywhere. That's cool. Oh yeah, I gotta hook up wires now. I need to figure out where the hell the wires go. Like, let me show you here. There's a connector here for the Z-axis. There's a connector somewhere over here for the y-axis so oh no this is for the y-axis this is no th sorry i'm stupid this is the feeder this is the z-axis this is the x-axis this is the y-axis i could be wrong on that but i think y is up and down and z is in and out yeah yeah this is the y this is the z this is the X. Okay, one day I'll learn my alphabet. You're probably saying, Adam, you left something out. What's that for? I don't know. I think it's for mounting the computer, to be honest, but I could be wrong. I hope I'm not. I don't, I don't know what that's for. I honestly don't. What do you do? <laughs> I've never even seen this part in the list. What does that even do? Do I need it? Oh, that's for the, um, okay, I'm an idiot. Oh shit, I am an idiot. I attach those bolts. This attaches up here. Ah, piss. Am I right? <sighs> How does that mount? How does that mount? Okay, no, I'm not an idiot. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. There's um, these two bolts here and these two T-nuts here. We got this. It's your birthday. Go party like it's your birthday. Oh, yeah, and I forgot my little, my little doohickey here. Is there a flat spot on there? So then you can control extrusion it's a big word did i tighten those down no i didn't okay let me tighten down those top ones i don't know how they got loose but they did might as well tighten everything down all the way now because we got the base tightened down one of the things that mike said he printed for his that upped his quality of print was uh supports for the legs so that um this here doesn't wobble but that feels pretty structurally sound to be honest like I don't know how the hell that would wobble. Like, this is solid right now. This is friggin' in there. All right. So, let's go ahead and attach the spool mounting thingy so that we can put some filament on it. Next up, we gotta level the bed. Fun. Well, not next up. I still gotta finish building this damn thing. I don't know why they gave me a screwdriver. I haven't had to use a screwdriver yet. I don't even think they included screws with this. They're just bolts. So, I'm gonna shove this right up here. Right there, that works. Ah, is it you? Are you are you the chosen one? Is it you? No, it's probably you. It's always you. So I put it on like that, or keep the ugly side back. Keep the ugly side back. Wow, it's not even that one. It was this one. But yeah, I figured out a really cool way to convert JPEGs into 3D printables, which means when Nikki comes up with her design for her business, <clears throat> I can 3D print her stuff to make it a little bit more fun. I'm not saying she won't have fun, I'm just saying, like, you know. Is there another Allen key? Because none of these fit these. You're not bigger, are you? Nope, you're smaller. Okay, well, this is exciting. I have four Allen keys here, and none of them work. I can get them finger tight. That's not going to be good enough, though. they got to be tweet tweet. All right, do I have an elastic band anywhere? Where are those zip ties at? Okay, I don't, I don't understand 
Why? Are these two the same size? They feel like it. I can't wrench those now. This one's just way too big. That one really doesn't fit in there, right? I'm just not being stupid, okay. Well, piss on a pancake. I need to get my hands on some other Allen keys. I don't have any kick around over here from a recent build, do I? I don't have anything on my multi-tool, do I? Well, that sucks. I might have to go out to the bike and get my... I'll be right back, guys. I gotta run out to the bike and get my Allen key set. Burb. Yeah, we're putting a hurt on that SD card. Cool. All right, well, hopefully, you know, I'm gonna give some more light in here. Hopefully, this thing will have something to fit that thing. Oh, first try? No, it couldn't be so lucky. Second try? Seriously? You're too big? How does that even work out? I don't know, it's not too big. It's just awkward as frig to get in there. I don't understand this, man. This is probably not metric, <laughs> or not uh, imperial. So that one just slips. Did I use the wrong ones? What is 27? M58 times two. It's on there, but it's gonna move. None of the supplied tools are good enough to do what I want it to do. What the heck is this piece of foam for? Why is there just like a random needle in here? Oh, it'll probably tell me. Oh, that's probably to clean out the uh, the extruder. It's probably a, all the tools. There's a drawer in the front to put all your tools in, which is kind of nice. So you don't lose anything in case you have to disassemble it. But you can't disassemble the uh, this thing because uh, there's no freaking Allen key for it. Whatever. Anyway, where the hell is the uh, tube? There it is. How does this go on? You just kind of force it on and stuff or... This just goes on like this. That's the sturdiness of PLA. That's pretty good. I can see that making good printable molds. And then all we have left to do is attach the computer, which this goes on the side over here. So let's pick this pig up, turn it around. Oh, we got to put these plastic things on the ends because the ends are sharp and you don't want to cut yourself on this because even though blood equals ratings, you only have so much in your body and you should cherish all of it. There we go. Cover up that cut maker. See, the other 3D printer I was looking at was the Flash Forge by Fusion. I think it was by Fusion, the Fusion Flash Forge. I don't know. However, it got some pretty shitty reviews and I was like, oh, well, maybe not. That's a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be though. That's not a bad thing though, because like I cleared off a lot of space expecting it to be a little bit wider and it totally isn't. And I'm okay with this. All right, so this, the computer, it has these C-channel rail things like I have on the upper doohickey. So you basically loosen them off a bit so that they're flat, guide them into the rail. And this thing here, you can basically mount it wherever the hell you want on the rail. <clears throat> if I can get the damn screw things to go in the holes. Get in the hole, it's your freaking home. I want to tighten back up, what the hell? I didn't tell you to tighten back up, do as you're told. Turn this thing a little bit. Probably gonna knock shit off the table. Lose it forever. I'm just gonna make this sit flush with the unit, like that. Great camera angle, right guys? Like, like if you like the camera angle. Okay, what happened? Oh, that didn't work. That's what happened. Okay, let me back these out a lot. All right, first you don't succeed, yell bitch and blame someone else. Okay, we're in there. Theoretically, you should just be able to twist these and they should lock in. Okay, that's not coming out. I want it right about there. You can literally mount, like I said, you can mount this thing wherever the hell you want on the board. You don't have to mount it where I'm mounting it. You can mount it so it protrudes at the front. I just like it flush, because I'm an idiot. And uh, flushing is my life. And then, I just gotta hook up that cable, which I probably should have done before I mounted the damn thing, but here on Skivens, we do things back asswards. Do you like how I just kinda started putting it together without even reading the manual? Give me a like for that shit. I just kinda gave up on the manual and was like, okay, we're gonna kick it old school. All right, computer is on there. Now, where the hell is that stupid little ribbon cable thing? All right, let's see if I can lift this thing up a little bit. They're knocking everything off my shelf behind it. Uh, the panache is up top, the panache is on the bottom, panache is up top, panache is hooked. All right, we have a computer. Mental note, if you have to force it, it's probably not gonna go. All right, so that's on there. Where the hell do you go? You go down here, right? Right. Didn't I see a thing under there though? What is that for? Then what power is this one? This one, right? Sweet Jesus, mice. I didn't even see the second wire. There was a wire hiding underneath the friggin' 3D printer. Okay, I just made this out to be a lot harder than it has to be. I'm telling you now, if any of you out there get this, you're probably better at constructing things from an Ikea puzzle. <sighs> oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. All right, here we go. Wires are hooked up, sort of. There we go. That's in there, that's in there, that's in there, that's in there. Okay. Is it a 3D printer yet? Or like, 
What else do we need? Gently dial the pulley, check to see whether it's idle or... What? That feels really loose. But those wires have got to get the frig out of the way. Okay, I don't know what it's telling me to do here. Gently dial the pulley to check whether it's idling or stuck. I love this. Use the open end wrench to adjust the hexagon eccentric isolation column to make it rotate smoothly. What? What are you even talking about? You're stupid. Well, that's not the one that moves. That's the one that moves. Like that moves freaking awesome. Yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna be fine. You know what? I think the next step is mother freaking bed leveling. Let's go. Let's take this thing. Let's put some power to it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Everybody loves this. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Let's take these clips off the bed, or if we can. Sweet Jesus, okay, I thought that was gonna run. And let's take the plastic off the glass bed, or whatever this is, it's like carbodium or something like that. You guys missed that, that was beautiful. That one was for me though. I wasn't sharing that one. That one was all for me. All right, so we're gonna clip this bed back on. A lot of people don't like the way these beds clip on, but I don't know, man. Printer, 3D printer for like $348. Remember when this technology first came out, they were like well over two grand. Okay, let's uh, plug it in and hope we don't see sparks. We'll just get you guys back a bit. So if it does go up in flames, at least we get the shot. Plug it into the power bar and plug it in to the MOSFET on the power hey we have power creality creality sorry i'm all wrapped up in the i'm caught in this damn wire all right so what do we got here so apparently to navigate this you use this little dial thing that's kind of neat so if we go to prepare we go auto home what does that do oh yeah moving that is the slowest downward thrust I've ever seen in the history of downward thrusts. Let's see how it plays. You can do it, buddy. I believe in you. Please don't. Auto homing. Please don't other operation. I love Chinglish. Okay. So we found the home position. We're doing it. All right, guys, so I, I don't know exactly how we're gonna do the bed leveling. So I'm gonna read the manual on that right now, and I'll be with you in a minute. And then it. All right, guys, we got her zeroed in or whatever, leveled, and where the hell did that SD card go? How am I gonna print without the SD card? Oh, there it is, just underneath all the junk. All right, so let's pop this SD card in. I leveled it hot and cold, which is what they suggest you do. The filament that came with it is already, uh, I'm just gonna use that for now. Okay, so this is an upside down SD card slot, I hope, otherwise I just broke it. All right, so how do you get, get out of the menu here? Back, print, I guess we're printing a dog. How long is that gonna take? All right, cool. Where's the go button? How do you make it go? Seriously, I gotta read how to freaking print? Uh, one second. Is it not detecting PLA or something? Is there a problem? There's a manual. Oh, never mind. It's doing stuff. Why is it just laying down a strip? I hope it's not making a massive freaking dog. I don't know what it's doing. All I know is it's not leveled because it's not sticking to the bed. Ah, no. Buzz. Actually, let's, let's stop it. Yeah, we'll confirm a stop. Yeah, that was bad. So, obviously, I need some more work. Gotta clean that piss off the bed. Where's that spatula thing? The needle's too high. Well, at least I know it works. I just need to calibrate it some more. What are, where did that other piece of white shit go? Oh, there it is. Cool. All right, so what I've been doing to um, calibrate it is I've been taking the hot end here and I've been bringing her, uh, if we go under pair and we go auto home. So I've been moving it. Oh yeah, I gotta disable the stepper. I've been moving it back. Oh man, that's gonna be hot. And I've been taking this piece of paper with the barcode on it, and I've just been putting it underneath to see if I can clear the head. Problem is, is there's a bunch of puke in the head. So I need to back that filament out a little bit. So I took my dial off because I was having a hell of a time feeding it through the extruder. So if I go forward, which one's backwards? Is that puking it? Yeah, it's puking it. Okay. If I go this way here, does it come back up? Yes, that's what I want to do. Because I want to lift you up. No, you have to lift. Can I turn this dial back here somewhere? Are you warm? No. 
Go up that way there. See if I can clean off the nozzle. Well, the nozzle's clean. Right? Yeah, the nozzle's clean. Okay, cool. Alright, back down. Let's go auto home again. Okay, so. Alright, disable steppers. I've been moving it back. And I'm pulling the bed forward to where the spring is. She's right on it. So where is that piece of paper? Right now, I cannot get that piece of paper under there. So, let's go ahead and bring this down a little bit. There we go. And then I've been moving it over to here and doing the exact same thing. And then pulling it forward. So the bed warped a bit when it got hot, which is expected, right? Oh shit, I'm going the wrong way. Wrong way, fool. All right, going back over to this side where it's completely touching. And that's not what we want. We want it to be, gonna be able to get this damn piece of, there we go. All right, I'm gonna bring it back to the front and check my level here. Now well, she's really off the ground. Now she's good. Now she's good. This is where one of the guys online mentioned getting better springs for it. And I think once I start doing a lot of 3D printing, I'm probably going to be pumping some money into this thing to upgrade it so it's a little bit better. Now we'll go back to Auto Home. Probably should uh, feed some PLA to it. Let's um, go back. Let's go to print. The dog is a two hour print. Whatever, go for it. Well, it's gotta heat up. Why is it heating the bed, but not the PLA? Well, not heated up. Okay, it's not heating up the element. The element's actually getting cooler. What the hell? Printing speed 100, nozzle temperature. For some reason, the nozzle temperature was set to zero. I don't know. We'll see what happens this time around. Like I say, guys, this is going to be a learning curve for me. So, uh, like, I plan on burning through a lot of PLA and just trial and error. It's going to be a thing. But I like it. It's kind of neat. How far back can I push it? Uh, that's about it. Okay, so you're going to stay there. It takes up a lot of desktop space, that's for sure. All these manuals. I'm going to hang on to these. Probably fill... I don't even know why they give out warranty cards anymore. Like, oh... Before returning the product and filling in the, a warranty, please contact the after-sale person for going through after-sale formalities. Okay. This is if you need to warranty it. Most people just repair it, but everything seems to be working. Right now, the only problem is, is I don't know what I'm doing. And talking with my, my co-worker Chuck, he was in the exact same boat that I'm in right now. He didn't know what he was doing when he first got into it. So it was one of those figure it out and then get her done i'm gonna come over here and shut my window i think the, the room being a little chilly might be throwing the freaking system off but it should start printing once that nozzle hits 200 degrees yeah there she goes except for the fact that we're not getting any freaking pcb or any any material there's the material all right cool now are you drawing are you sticking sticking that's a good sign
we're done. We printed a little puppy. I don't know, it looks, looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and break them off the, the, the heating platform. You can see the thing underneath was like cracking and stuff. Let's see if we can get the spatula under there. And, okay, I'm gonna have to, uh, I need two hands. Hmm, that's on there. I, I don't understand how you're supposed to break it off. Do I wait for the hot plate to cool? I'm gonna wait for the hot plate to cool. Then we'll take it off and have a look, see. So, broke them off and it actually looks, uh, Pretty damn good. I don't know if the ground is supposed to look like that. I don't know if that's cracking from the heat of the bed. Like all in all, that's a cute little puppy. He's tiny though, but right now I got the thing warming up. Because I went and made a Skivens logo. Guys, check this shit out. I don't know how well you're going to see this on the camera, but I went and did one of these. And I'm going to try and print it right now and see how it comes out, because why the frig not? I don't know. We'll see what happens. Worst case, it doesn't work. Best case, it does work. But guys, I'm going to end it here for now. If there's other things I want to print. This is going to be a freaking fun investment. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. I know there's a lot of bullshit going on. I'm trying to build that thing. And uh, it definitely was quite the fun time, I will admit. But uh, stay tuned for more. There's going to be more 3D printing in the future. I just got to figure out how the hell I'm going to put a camera on it and all that other stuff. We'll figure that out as we go. But anyway, thanks for watching. Like, favorite, comment. Don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, guys, live it to win it. Peace the frig out. Sit, stupid, sit. Good dog.